Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Sarah the Brick. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored the Royal Bahraini Air Force as the winners of the fifth edition of the Ramadan Football Championship for officers. The championship is organized by the Royal Artillery and under, held under His Highness's patronage. The Royal Bahraini Air Force scored 5-3 over the BDF Royal Shields team in the final match held at the Royal Artillery Stadium. During the halftime interval, an exhibition match was held between former Bahrain national football team players and Bahraini celebrities. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman awarded the Royal Bahraini Air Force team at first place and the BDF Royal Shields team at second. His Highness further honored the winners of the championship's best player, top scorer and best goalkeeper. Some BDF units directors, the Bahrain Football Association, the former Bahrain National Stadium team players and Bahraini celebrities were also honored for their contributions to the success of the championship, while the commander of the Royal Artillery presented His Highness with a commemorative souvenir for the event. His Highness expressed delight on the success of the championship and noted the fierce competition witnessed between the participating teams. His Highness commended the BDF for supporting such sporting events and the efforts of the Royal Artillery in organizing the fifth edition of the Ramadan Football Championship for officers, an important sports activity for youth within the Bahrain Defense Force. His Highness congratulated the winner teams and players in the tournament and wished all teams success in the coming years. The Bahraini Royal Air Force Commander Major General General Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Royal Artillery Commander Major General Sheikh Khalifa bin Hassan Al Khalifa, the President of the Bahrain Football Association Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior Bahrain Defense Force officers also attended. The Representatives Council, chaired by its Speaker Fozia Zainal, held its 30th meeting of the fourth regular annual session of the fifth legislative term. The Speaker of the Representatives Council extended her sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, marking the advent of Eid al-Fitr, asking God the Almighty to bestow on the leadership, citizens, residents, and the Arab and Islamic nations his blessings and goodness. On the occasion of Labor Day, which falls on May 1st, Zainal expressed her great pride in the outstanding role played by the labor force in the the kingdom and their contributions to strengthening the national economy in light of the comprehensive development process. Marking World Press Freedom Day and Bahraini Press Day, Zainal praised the efforts and contributions of national media institutions and all press and media personnel for their vital role as key partners in the development of the kingdom. The council pre presented the requests received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding draft laws. The council also presented the requests received from parliamentary committees in addition to government responses to the proposals. Finally, the Council discussed the reports of parliamentary committees. 
The Undersecretary of Cabinet Affairs and Deputy President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the sixth edition of Khalifa bin Salman Basket Cup as well Basketball Cup as well as Al Ahli team with the tournament's cup and gold medals and Manama team with silver medals. His Highness Sheikh Isa expressed pride in presenting the cup bearing the name of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to the winning teams, recalling his efforts for the sports sector and his support to athletes in general and basketball in particular. His Highness affirmed that the keenness and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is the first catalyst to achieve global sports ranks and the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in supporting athletes and promoting Bahraini sports resulted in making many achievements regionally and internationally. He added that the provisions of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, of all the needs of Bahraini sports, contributed to the advancement of the sports movement. His Highness congratulated the team that won the cup title, hailing the role of the club's board of directors in creating the ideal atmosphere for the team to win. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Hope Fund, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad held a meeting with the board members. The minister expressed his appreciation to the members and the Hope Projects team's efforts in the initiative for youth, including the Biban TV show, which achieved great success across the Arab world. He said that the second season of the program will include a larger number of promising project owners to present them to a larger segment and attract local and regional investment and partnership offers. al muayyad said, that the TV show has provided important opportunities for young entrepreneurs and investors from various sectors to discover new horizons of expansion and prosperity, expressing aspirations to continue the initiative in its second edition to actively support youth and business growth locally, regionally and globally. The Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received a U.S. delegation from the Evangelic Leaders Group, headed by analyst and expert in international media and political consultations, Joel Rosenberg. Dr. Sheikh Khalid reviewed with them the civilizational and historical aspects characterizing Bahrain in terms of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among all social components. He underlined the role of His Majesty the King in fostering the values of tolerance, brotherhood, and openness. He pointed out that the Bahrain Declaration is a methodical framework to anchor the unique Bahraini model in charting policies based on tolerance and humanitarian coexistence. Dr. Sheikh Khalid provided an overview on the successful initiatives launched by the center. For his part, Rosenberg expressed appreciation of the center's activities to serve global peace and tolerance and praised the kingdom's role in fostering coexistence and openness. In implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to launch a plan to develop places of worship in all governance and to open, restore and rehabilitate 20 mosques affiliated with the Sunni and Jafari Endowments Directorate and to take measures to speed up the design and construction of 12 mosques in Salman Town. The Sunni Endowments Directorate signed an MOU between the administration of the benefactors to build three mosques in Salman Town under the patronage of the Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Sheikh Dr. 
Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri, member of the Sunni Endowment Council and chairman of the Mosques Committee, Yusuf Salah al Din, and de delivered a speech in which he noted that this ceremony is a continuation of the achievements made by Bahrain in the field of reconstruct reconstruction and development projects launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He extended his thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs for his continuous support and follow up and to the benefactors. He also praised the role of all the competent official authorities. An implementation of the directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and Chairman of the Civil Service Council, the Civil Service Bureau, the CSB, has taken the necessary measures regarding the leaves of eligible employees whose annual leave balance exceeds 75 days at the end of December 31, 2021. By taking the necessary measures to transfer the excess annual, annual leave for frontliners, health caters, and other supporting bodies, the Bureau stated that organizing the leave of eligible employees to exhaust the uh, carried forward success has begun from the entities obtaining approval from the CSB until December 31st, 2023, and in a manner that takes into account the requirements of work. Bahrain Polytechnic has launched a variety of new programs and specializations in various fields as part of the endeavors to produce professional graduates who are ready to work and to meet the requirements of the local, regional and international labor market. The college said that starting from the academic year 2022-2023, applicants and regular students will be able to apply or register in the new programs and majors, which are bachelors in digital marketing, bachelors in film and animation, diploma in engineering technology and petroleum operations, electromagnetic mechanical, communications and networks, and cybersecurity. And new programs and specializations are to prepare students to perform the roles required of them, as each year a meeting is held with key industry members in a variety of sectors with the aim of enhancing the curricula and adding related programs. In addition, Bahrain Polytechnic will continue to cooperate with its industry partners to develop and add programs. APM Terminals, which operates Khalifa bin Salman Port, has claimed its position as one of the world's most comprehensive port networks, ensuring quality and smooth operations, which was reflected specifically during the month of Ramadan. More in this report. As one of the leading players within the logistics sector in the kingdom, APM Terminals is committed to investing in the community and the interconnected ecosystem with the port to grow their business and achieve better supply chain efficiency, flexibility and dependability. This was specifically reflected through the company's strategy and launched initiatives to contain the traffic of orders, ensure quality and smooth operations during the month of Ramadan. The product journey is very sophisticated actually and uh, it goes under uh, different elements in the supply chain. So uh, we come uh, as Khalifa bin Salman Port, uh, the state of art, as a very uh, strategic element in the supply chain. So we have to do a lot of preparation in order to handle different materials and supply the local market with uh, many materials uh, required and mainly consumer products. So that uh, undergoes different coordination between APM Terminals Bahrain, uh, the Port Authority, uh, Port and Maritime Affairs, and different governmental entities such as customs and other uh, stakeholders within the terminal. Uh, basically, uh, there's, a, there's a, a major change that happened in, in the port community, and uh, we provided a lot of uh, electronic solution to the customers in order to facilitate a very smooth traffic of the consumer product required for the market at the required time. So uh, the objective is, is to make all the customers uh, able to manage their shipments and different containers that are arriving through the terminal uh, to undergo different processes uh, online without the need for them being physically available at the terminal. Through its multi-purpose and modern port facilities, APM Terminals Bahrain plays a key role in facilitating trade and marine services and ensuring a productive operational process through its collaboration and cooperation with key local and international institutions. We have a unique uh, relation uh, between APMT and, and the different stakeholders, especially when I'm speaking about uh, the relation between APMT and, and the Ministry of Transportation uh, represented by the Port and Maritime uh, Authorities. We have a unique partnership. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not only a relation between port operator and, and regulators, but uh, it's, it's like uh, uh, one team uh, making sure that there is a seamless operation in, in enhancing the, the, the trade in, in Bahrain and supporting the trade in Bahrain. And this was actually very obvious uh, during the COVID uh, uh, situation 
when uh, when when the port here needed to be uh, working in in a very seamless uh, manner. APM Terminals has played a vital role in the economic development of Bahrain, making one of the company's priorities to continuously facilitate smooth trade flows, which was made possible with the expertise, competitiveness and operational excellence that the leading logistics hub brings in as an international company. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.